Hi, this is Ryan from Flat Creek Plant Farm. Today I want to show you a, uh, how I would go about pruning a multi-stem shrub. We have right here, this is an overgrown viburnum that desperately needs some love. Um, it's uh, just got a lot going on. It's multi-stem multi shrubs are basically trees with just a lot of different stems. So you can approach these and trees kind of in a similar way. You know, you could like you could take this viburnum and eventually train it into a single or three stems. Um, there's a lot of directions you can go with it. But I've got here three basic pruning tools. You know, and you can see this shrub is pretty big. So it's just these three little guys for the most part will get you 80, maybe 90% of what you're going to be pruning. Um, bypass pruners, folding saw. Both of these I get from Harbor Freight. It's a, they have great deals on this kind of stuff. And then a electric six inch chainsaw. This has really changed the game for me this year. Um, I like the Milwaukee brand. They're a little bit more expensive, but uh, this would be a splurge. So looking at this tree, you kind of, you know, you want to step back and decide what you want to do with it. So if you have a lot of bushy stuff at the bottom, you may, you know, that may be a priority for you. I think a lot of people, you know, just kind of want to just take the top off or cut it down small. But when, when you have these overgrown multi-stem plants, the best place to start really is to look for the oldest growth in the tree. That's going to be your biggest diameter trunks. And here we've got, oftentimes they're kind of in the center and a pain in the neck to get to. So we have one right there. We've got a dead one here. We've got some on the outside, some that have been pruned already. And you don't want to go crazy with these, but you know, 25, 30% or so the first year and just take out a little each year. Um, so what I do is I start, start with, some of these big trunks and take them all the way down to the base. That's, that's where this guy comes in handy, even more so than these, because this cuts on both sides. So uh, actually I'll take that back. For this one here, I'll be able to use this. Go as low as you can go. and then pull that out. And what this is going to do is give that give the shrub just more room to grow, room to breathe. I'm probably going to have to cut that into multiple pieces. I'll just do that later. We'll go to one of these outside ones next. This guy here. And this this one I'll use this handsaw because I don't want the chainsaw cutting into all this younger, new growth. You can also use a lopper for this, but I find these little, uh, little hand saws do a, a pretty quick, clean job. Taking these out. A lot of times the hardest part is, is once you're done cutting. <laughs> so, so that's, that's basically where I start. So if I got at this, this season, if I got say three to five of those branches out, this would be a lot more 
you have a lot more airflow and healthier for the plant. And it's just going to um, encourage that new growth to fill out. So from there, um, it's not the end of the world to cut back some of these, but if you cut things from the top, that encourages that base growth. So as they're cut from here, you're going to get this is going to fill out next season. So I limit myself on these types of shrubs as to how much I do that because you're, the goal is to, to increase airflow and not density so much at the base. Um, that's going to be a healthier plant for you. Um, so for this, I, what I will do is not really much. I'll take out those and then any sort of eye level branches here that uh, might get in your way mowing the lawn. You know, don't be afraid to take out things like that if it's just bothering you. If they're over a path, you know, don't feel bad for the plant. You know, it does, it does matter if it's, uh, if it's just getting in your way and obnoxious. Um, and maybe clean up some of these younger guys here so that it's a more, more of a vase-like structure. Um, that's another good point is, is thinking of it like a vase, a plant that's open in the center and spreading out this way. Um, and that goes for trees, shrubs. You want a nice open center and flaring out um, on the sides. And uh, that's basically that for multi stem shrubs. This goes for forsythias, a um, lot of different viburnums. Some of your, uh, you know, euonymus, even some hydrangeas, if you clear out that center, if they're just really old and overgrown. So thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe if you want more plant tips.